Hi everyone. In uh, today's video, I am going to take up a new question from exercise number 22. And this is question number 2 from Ship Stability 2 of Captain Subramaniam's uh, Ship Stability series. And this refers to trim type A problems. Alright, so without much ado, let's get started with the question. Um, the question is that uh, there is a ship which is 150 meters long. It has HF 3 meters forward, TPC 21 and MCTC 275. Present drafts are 5.6 meters forward and 6.2 meters aft. You have to find out how many tons of seawater must be transferred to the four peak tank from the aft peak tank through a distance of 130 meters to bring the ship on an even keel. So the ship on an even keel means the forward and aft drafts become the same. This is an unsolved question from the book. So to solve it, you must first draw a diagram. Always draw diagrams with ship stability questions because what happens is it makes it easy for you to understand and conceptualize or visualize with what is happening. The drawings don't have to be very pretty. It can be as ugly as my drawings are. And uh, basically you just have to get an idea. Alright, so what is given is the forward draft. So this is the forward part of the vessel. And this is the aft part of the vessel. So forward draft. So I just like to show the water with the blue color. Otherwise the rest can be black. So 5.6 meters forward draft. And 6.2 meters is the aft draft. So that means the vessel is trimmed by stern. So we draw the midship. And we call it H. So H is the midship. So if you have never seen these kind of questions before, and you are this is the first video you're watching, so that's fine. The links to the previous questions from this exercise are in the description section below. So H F three meters forward means that H is the midship, and F is the center of flotation, which is three meters forward from the midship. So this distance is three meters. Three meters forward of midship. All right. What else is given is that the vessel's length is 150 meters long. So that would mean that each half of the vessel is half of 150, which is 75 meters. 75 meters from midship to forward perpendicular and 75 meters from aft perpendicular to midship. Total is 150 meters length between perpendicular. Total length. All right. TPC is 21. I will just write it here on the side so that I don't forget it. MCTC is 275. I'll write this as well. What else do I know? So I also know that I have to transfer water from aft peak tank. This is my aft peak tank, let's say. And from here, from here, I have to transfer it to four peak tank, which is here. I will call it four peak tank. And I have to transfer water, of course, from aft to forward so i will point arrows in this direction and this distance here is 130 meters in length total distance from aft peak to fore peak is 130 meters all right this is the information that i have so it's a good idea for us to summarize it now vessel is trained by stern so naturally if vessel is trained by stern and you want to bring it on even keel you have to lift the aft portion out of the water and dip the forward portion into the water and to do that, you have to transfer weight from half peak to four peak. That's why you are transferring from half peak to four peak so that weight transfer takes place from half to forward and the forward part of the vessel becomes heavier, dips down and the aft part becomes lighter and comes up from the water resulting in an even keel provided that we are transferring the right amount of water which we will find out now. All right, so let's say, so what is the trim? The trim is this time trim is by stern. I know that because my aft draft is more than the forward draft. So that's why I know the trim is by stern. So 6.2 meters aft draft minus 5.6 meters forward draft is 0 0.6 meters or 60 centimeters. So 0 0.6 into 100 will result in 60 centimeters. So I'm converting meters into centimeters. All right, you will know why later on as I go along, you will know. So this is trim by stern. This is the current trim. Right. So that's why if the current trim is 60 centimeters by stern, this is 60 centimeters by stern. 
but you have to make it even keel even keel means when the forward and aft draft is the same forward and aft draft is the same if forward and aft draft is the same then the trim is nil because forward minus aft draft will be zero trim will be nil so that means if you change the trim by 60 centimeters that is the change in the trim required vessel will become upright so tc or change in the trim required is equal to 60 centimeters this this 60 centimeters here right so current trim is 60 centimeters by stern you want to make it upright for sl to become upright you have to make sure there is no trim so if the current trim is 60 centimeters if you change the current trim by 60 centimeters vessel will become upright simply by transferring weight from the aft peak tank to the forward tank so if trim change in trim is in 60 centimeters change in trim is also calculated by trimming moment we call it tm trimming moment divided by mctc so change in trim is 60 trimming moment is i don't know how much it is so unknown and mctc is given to me as 275 all right therefore if i have to find trimming moment trimming moment will be equal to 60 times 275 which is equal to 16500 16500 okay this is equation number 1 also what is trimming moment trimming moment is nothing but the weight loaded or discharged by the distance so normally if it is loaded or discharged we see the distance the center of gravity of the space from which it is loaded or discharged to the center of flotation but in this case here what we will see is the distance is given to us as 130 meters this is the distance distance is given to us as 130 meters weight i don't know so normally it is weight by distance where distance is 130 meters weight is unknown so trimming moment will be equal to weight by distance is 130 meters or 130 w this is equation number two all right now you must be wondering why the center of flotation is given to be honest center of flotation is only important here in this case not this not only important but center of flotation in this question is not important because we have not been asked to calculate the final drafts forward and aft so if we were required to calculate that then we would need center of flotation but here we will not need the center of flotation we can just find out by equating equations one and two but most of the questions uh, will require you to calculate the final drafts forward and aft at that point of time you need to know the position of the center of flotation because you need to know how much is the distance or longitudinal distance between r perpendicular to center of flotation which is used in another formula so don't worry about that for now this is the question this is the question from the book so let's solve this question so trimming moment is equal to 130 by w and also trimming moment is equal to 16500 by equation 1 and 2 so if i equate equations 1 and 2 it becomes 130 w equals 16500 equation 1 and equation 2 all right so i can write here equating 1 and 2 equations 1 and 2 so w is equal to nothing but 16500 divided by 130 which is equal to 126.92 tons this is the answer this is the answer in the book as well all right now if in the exam you are asked to calculate the final drafts and forward and aft that is where the center of flotation will become very important because you need this distance here af aft perpendicular to center of flotation which is be nothing but 75 from aft perpendicular to midship is 75 plus 3 meters is 78 meters so af aft perpendicular to center of flotation is 78 meters so although in this question you are not required to calculate the total change in the trim is equal to 0 0.6 meters and from that you can calculate tf change in the sorry ta which is change in the trim aft and change in the trim forward by using a formula which requires you to use af so the calculation formula for calculating trim change in trim aft is nothing but af by 
L B P length between perpendicular into T C. Now in this case they have not asked you final drafts and forward and aft so I will not get into that. But I only explain this because you must be wondering why the center of rotation is given. To be honest in this question it is not required. So it can throw you off a little bit but don't get confused. Alright we have solved the question we have found the answer. Uh, the rest of it or the other examples I will explain more. Thank you for watching today's video guys and uh, see you soon. Bye.